So right now it's almost completing. I'm still holding uh, Command R to bring uh, the upper logo screen. I just gotta hold those two keys up until you see the option to start up um, cleaning the hard drive. This could be a failure of the internal hard drive because uh, the computer would start and then uh, in the middle of, of uh, doing something it would just shut and, and bring the blinking file which uh, it's a faulty, I would say a faulty hard drive because this is tiny. So here is the Apple logo. Typically it would go all the way to the end of it. But once it blinks, you just continue holding Command R until that one goes through. Just keep doing this. And I recommend this for any troubleshoot with uh, computers that um, got stuck on the upper logo. It's probably one of the easier way to pass the boot logo, which is the Apple. Just keep holding. And there you go. Until you get to the main screen. And that's it. So now you're going to come to the main screen where you can reset. But typically you will not even see the hard drive in there. I just kind of continue to hold on the command R still just to give that. There you go. And there you are in the reset mode. As you see, if you go to disk utilities and you do continue, basically there is no internal hard drive as you can see. I mean, the internal is there, but it shows only 2 gig from the total, which was, uh, I believe, 60 gig. So in this case, uh, I recommend if you got stuck on a Apple logo, just do these steps and you'll be at least at the main screen. And from there, you can reinstall with a disk or just uh, uh, use the internal hard drive and uh, reinstall the, win the Mac OS. That's all for me. And if you can, leave comments or subscribe to my page. Thank you.